Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Today on the Spoiler Squad, we're diving deep into one of the longest-running reality television shows in history, Survivor. Since its debut in 2000, Survivor has not only captivated audiences in the United States, but has also made waves worldwide, forever changing the landscape of reality competition shows. With its exotic locations and the gripping dynamics of human behavior under extreme pressure, it is no wonder that millions tune in season after season. Now, after more than 40 seasons on air and with season 47 just around the corner, let's explore just how much this iconic show has raked in for CBS. When Survivor first premiered, it was an instant hit, sparking a surge of interest that led to skyrocketing advertising revenue. In its inaugural season, advertisers were paying a mere $150,000 per 30-second commercial spot. However, by the time the season finale rolled around, that number had increased to $600,000. Such impressive figures set the stage for future seasons, including an unprecedented advertising rate of nearly $2.40 million during the Super Bowl preceding the show's second season. As we move through the years, the advertising fees continued their upward trajectory, averaging around $230,000 in 2008, later climbing above $350,000 per commercial. With millions of viewers tuning in week after week, Advertisers were eager to claim their spot in this ratings juggernaut. But commercials aren't the only source of revenue for Survivor. Product placements have played a significant role as well. Initially, sponsors paid around $14 million for prominent display during the first season, a figure that has only grown with the show's sustained success. The economics of producing Survivor also play into its profitability. With a comparatively low production cost of about $2 million per episode and a $1 million prize for the winning contestant, it's easy to see how the show has managed to generate incredible revenue, sometimes yielding tens of millions in earnings. In fact, during the Survivor All-Star season, CBS netted a staggering $166.60 million. However, with changing viewing habits, CBS and its parent company Paramount have had to adapt. The rise of streaming services has impacted traditional advertising revenues, prompting CBS to place Survivor both on network television and Paramount. It turns out streaming can be quite lucrative too, with potential advertising revenues reaching between $25 to $40 per 1,000 viewers, compared to the higher rates for television. The combination of ad revenues and subscription fees, with over 77 million customers paying between $4.99 to $9.99 per month, keeps Survivor as a staple for viewers even after two decades. Despite a decline from peak ratings of over 40 million viewers in the early 2000s, Survivor still maintains a solid audience of over 5 million particularly drawing in the coveted 18-49 to 49 demographic. In fact, current numbers often exceed competitors during their time slot, ensuring a steady stream of return viewers and advertisers. As we gear up for season 47, excitement is building not just for the competition, but also to see how this beloved show will continue to generate revenue for CBS moving forward. With the reality show format evolving and new twists being introduced, Survivor proves time and again it's capable of adapting to the times. As always, we keep our eyes peeled for the latest news in reality TV, and Survivor remains a cornerstone of our weekly viewing lineup. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights and updates on your favorite shows. Until next time, remember, in the wild world of reality TV, it's always survival of the fittest.